New at 11, he's the inspiration behind a first of its kind robot. David Carey fought leukemia at CHKD, unable to spend time with friends and other patients because of his condition. But a former nurse had an idea that could change the future for kids just like David. Philip Townsend shows us what they're now calling David's Project. When we think of robots, it's form and function, a brain of circuit boards, sensors and chips. But Dr. Tina Gustin is searching for something with a little more heart. When you're least expecting it, something pretty special will happen. That moment came a couple of years ago. Gustin is a former oncology nurse and the current co-director of ODU Center for Telehealth Innovation. But she also spends time at CHKD with her dog Dharma, therapy sessions with terminally ill children. One of those kids was David Carey. He has very little social interaction with children because he was on contact protocol for so long. During one visit, David's dad, Mike, found out about Gustin's work with telehealth robots. I'll never forget when I told him about this robot, he said, oh man, you guys have it all wrong. Look at, look at David. David hasn't left his room in three months. He should be operating that robot to go out and visit other children on the unit. Shortly after that, Gustin made another trip to CHKD, this time swapping out Dharma for a robot. It went very well, but we realized that there were things that it, it couldn't do. So she took the idea to Giannis Papelis at ODU's Modeling Analysis and Simulation Center. Kind of haphazardly over my shoulder said, hey, do you guys build robots? I'm like, hallelujah, yes, we can. <laughs> and just like that, David's project was born. After receiving a grant from the governor's office, the team here at VMASC is now building the first telehealth robot designed just for children. This is something that can make such a drastic uh, improvement on families' lives. They're even using a combination of student drawings from the Governor's School for Arts as a blueprint. I, I've done a lot in my career, and I think that this by far is my favorite project. It is a project that David won't get to see. He lost his long battle with leukemia in 2019, but he now leaves a powerful legacy behind not just a new kind of robot or its form and function, but the thing that's been missing all along, heart. And that if it can make a difference for other families and other children to still feel part of a community, then yes, I'm proud. Because you don't want your, you don't want your child to be forgotten. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend. The team will use 3D printers to build the robot's outer shell. They hope to have a rough version of it completed and ready to test at the hospital this fall.